everyone. So I'd like to now discuss in this video the stress plots we get for uh, Bonnery's stress and also the components of stress in the y, x, and z axis. So again, here is my C clamp, my bracket, and what I'm interested in doing is looking at the stress profile across this cross section right here, right through the midpoint. We've gone through some manual calculations based on MC over I a plus or minus P over A. Remember we have a 200 pound load down here and the top is fixed. First of all I'd like to investigate the von Mises stress. So what I'm going to do is just zoom in on that area. There we go. And then I'm going to right click and probe. And I'm going to try and select a cross section, a kind of uniform cross section across this profile. There's one. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, now I'm going to go down here and just plot them up. And as you can see, we've got this nice V-shaped profile. Now, the problem is, of course, that surely we should be getting um, a maximum over here, positive, and a minimum over here, which would be a negative. Um, the positive, of course, would be in tension. The negative would be in compression. And that would be based on our manual calculations. So what's going on? Well, the problem is the von Mises stress, of course, can only be positive and is an accumulation of all stresses at each one of these points. So let's investigate further. So what I'd like to do is just X out of here, go back in, and this time I'm going to edit definitions and change my stress to the Y normal stress. In other words, in this direction right here. Click. Okay, so this is the stress we should be look now looking at. Uh, again, I'm going to probe. I'm going to select here, 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 and again over on the far side here. And plot the results. Now we are getting something that's very close to our calculated values. So we're only looking at stress in the y-axis and we're going from a positive value which would indicate that the front face would be in tension and the back, its negative, would be in compression. That seems to be what we see in our calculations. So why don't you go back to your hand calculations and see if you can uh, duplicate what I've just shown you here, right here. 